Good morning, modern steaders. It's raining out this morning. It's not supposed to be raining. Ah, oh, puts a little damper on the plans today. I'm gonna have to think about what we're gonna do now. Man, we've had enough rain this year. Good morning, girls. I tricked you coming from this side, huh? Wow, you girls have done an awesome job over here. What are you doing, Figaro? You teasing the pigs? I figure I better have the pigs clean up around the trees for me, get in here and root them the best they can. Because if I get in there with a piece of equipment, I'll end up ruining the roots of those apple trees. But the pigs won't do that much damage. You guys have got plenty of feed and water. You're looking good. I'd say they're about three quarters feathered out. Nice. I'll be able to move them into New York City pretty soon. Put them in there with the hen and she'll take care of them. <sighs> Turkeys aren't the brightest birds out there, that's for sure. What are you doing, Moose? It's the first time I've seen you up there in the top roosting pole. Fall is here, the leaves are starting to change. On the video it's gonna look like I went out, fed the animals, and now I'm going out to feed the goats and milk them. But that's not what happened. I went in the house, had a good quiche breakfast with Gina. Olivia was already on the bus. And it was nice and cozy in the house. Then I had to get re-motivated to come back outside. Oh, I hate having a cold. It just kind of zaps any energy you have. And then on a dreary day, it makes it that much worse. So I'm hoping the goats aren't too mad. Oh, you girls mad? You had to stay in here for another five minutes? Huh? It's raining now. You wouldn't have wanted to come out anyways. So I did give the goats the trees that we cut down the other day. And they got some of them cleaned up. Now, if you're watching this video the day it came out, this is your Saturday, but I recorded this on our Friday. So, our Saturday and Sunday are supposed to be nice weather-wise. And then quite a few of the days next week are supposed to be raining. Ugh. We had like, I don't know, a week, maybe two without any rain, and now we're back into it. The lower part of the pasture was starting to dry up. Thought we were gonna be able to get out there and rake. It's not looking that way, guys. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'll put a link to a playlist right here. This summer we had four acres logged, and now we're trying to turn that four acres into a pasture. And we're not having a lot of luck this year. We keep getting a ton of rain. I want to say for the month of September, we've already had four and a half inches in the month of August. I believe we had four inches of rain and every month before that we had like five, six and seven inches of rain. And when we get the rain, it comes down like an inch or two at a time in an hour. 
<sighs> I don't even like talking about it because it frustrates me. But we're gonna get it done. I just saw something out of the corner of my eyes and it startled me. It was a little chipmunk running across the stone wall. I said I wasn't going down to where the goat area is going to be. This is too wet with the rain, but I don't think we have any choice. The rain's not going to stop. Uh, so we're going for it this morning. I think I messed up. I don't think coming down this way to get in here is gonna be the best way. Otherwise, I'm gonna to have to move all this stuff. I think I need to go up around and back down over there. I just didn't want to, because I didn't want to mess the field up. But that apple tree is so low, I think I might destroy it. Or we just use the blade and push it out of our way. I think I like that idea better. At first I thought maybe it was for making maple syrup, but it's steel. And it's probably 3 16 thick. It weighs a ton. I don't want to get rid of it. There's some good steel, but I have no idea what it's for. I shopped in the chainsaw the other day. The noise you hear in the background is the drone flying. This apple tree is pretty much dead. It is in our way. The chainsaw is sharp. Let's get it cut down.
tried saving this apple tree, but I made more damage than anything. So unfortunately, this one's got to go, guys. It's so hard, it's quitting time. Just wanna stay in there all day. Now the apple tree that was right here. I tried seeing if I could stand it up any, and it didn't work, it made it worse. And that's what it was, it was an apple tree that was upright, and if it was upright, it would've been right here by that tree. Beautiful, but it had fallen over and was leaning over here. So we had to get rid of it. It wasn't doing any good, but at least we were able to clean it up in here now. There's a big old monster rock here, one here, one there, and then we worked on this pile for the goats. I think the goats will like this. A big old monster rock was here, and then these were kind of just buried here and there. Working on the bank. I got it so you could drive up here with a pickup truck if needed. That's kind of how I want this all to be ramped so you could drive down it. But we're getting there, guys. Clean up in there. Next week, it's supposed to be raining quite a bit. So we're gonna be having some brush fires. Ready to go see how many chicks we have? Mm -hmm. There's a little tiny one. Is she gonna like attack you? Go in. I don't want her to attack me. She's not gonna attack you. I see, seven. I think seven little baby chicks. I see seven yep. little babies. They're doing good. Hi, duckies. I've been looking forward to this all week now. Last night we made some bone broth in our Instant Pot, and today we're gonna to be making our soup in our Instant Pot. I'll put a link in the description down below for an Instant Pot. It's an electric pressure cooker. And I'll tell you what, it makes making bone broth so fast and easy. For now, I'm gonna get it warmed up, and we're gonna saute our onions in there. I learned a new trick for cutting onions the other day. Let me show you. You leave the root attached, and you cut down the onion, but don't cut it all the way off. Helps keep you from crying.
couple of teaspoons of garlic. I'm gonna peel five carrots because that's what we have in the refrigerator. I like celery, so I do quite a bit of it. I thought we'd add a little bit more green to the soup, so I thought we'd add a little bit of cabbage. And then I can't forget the chicken. chicken noodle soup with the egg noodles we made. Yay. A little bit of parsley. Salt. Now the bone broth we made last night. Because we're using fresh egg noodles that we made, I'm gonna put them in for a few minutes before we eat because they're gonna cook up really quick. Now it's still boiling, so I can put the egg noodles in now, it'll cook it. Does that smell good there, Lynx? He's free from New York City. <laughs> That's your goat blossom making all that noise. Why? She's always been the noisy one. I don't know why. Whenever we're out or whenever anybody's out, that's what she does. She wants attention. Well, you're gonna get such a
Figaro. Where'd you come from, where mister? Figaro? Yeah, where did you come from? I didn't see you. <laughs> but you definitely are. Like I've been dressed. What are you doing up there, mister? You're crazy. You are crazy. You think you're king of the castle or what? Huh? What do you think you're finding? Hearing? Huh? Why'd you get up there? Cause I can, man. Cause I can. Crazy cat. Of That's what Olivia keeps saying. I can't believe how friendly these ducks are now. Thanks guys for watching. This is where we're gonna end today's video, and we'll see you right back here at the next one at Mumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. Bye.